have this boat, the Grand Princess, has been sitting off the coast of California for some time. Um, it's arrived. Does this pose any threat to the general public, or what kind of a threat does it pose? So I live in Oakland, and I'm perfectly comfortable that they're going to do everything necessary to make sure it does not pose a risk to the people of Oakland. So I, I think I can reassure people that that's not going to be a problem. I've seen the plan. Uh, that they're implementing. I think it's a well-designed plan. I think the people in charge of this particular uh, ship uh, know what they're doing and will do an excellent job. So I have no concerns about that. How is this different? Can you, is there any way you can generally tell me how this is different from the Diamond Princess, the boat that was in Japan? Well, it's a bit of a mystery exactly what was done on the Diamond Princess that resulted in six or 700 people getting infected, but it's pretty clear, based on news reports, uh, that no epidemiologist or anyone who knew anything about cruise ship outbreaks was involved in, in deciding what should happen to whom. Um, so it's pretty clear that there was ongoing interaction between the crew and the passengers that could have allowed transmission. There almost certainly, at least for a period of time, was ongoing uh, interaction between uh, uh, passengers allowing transmission. So, so there is a right way to do this, and it's pretty clear they didn't do it the right way. So I, let's say passengers are asymptomatic. They don't have a flu. They don't have a cough. Why not, or not just let them go home? Because uh, that's the whole point of quarantine. Quarantine is a system in which we take people who we are concerned uh, have been exposed they might be incubating the infection, but we have no way to test them, that's certain. Um, and so we basically uh, uh, remove them from contact with other people, monitor them for what we think is the right incubation period. Um, again, uh, if during that time they become ill, we certainly want to know what's making them ill. But if they remain asymptomatic, uh, then we certainly want to test them again and make sure that they don't have in this case, the, the, the COVID-19 virus before we tell them that they can go home. Any insight as to what might, how they might be monitored, those folks um, at Travis under quarantine? What will that involve? Well, I assume they'll be kept in individual rooms, uh, so there is no mixing and opportunity for cross-infection because then you basically need to start the, the incubation period quarantine all over again. Um, so people will be confined to individual rooms, uh, hope with internet and, and other ways to amuse themselves. Um, and, and, you know, basically, I suspect they'll have temperature checks every day and, and be checked for symptoms. How often they will be tested for coronavirus during that 14 days, I'm not sure, but probably at least a couple of additional times to prove that they are consistently negative at the end of the 14 days before they're uh, sent home. Do you think it's been contained? Do you think we're going to see more cases? Do you think it's in the community? So I don't think uh, we have contained the virus in the United States uh, or in the Bay Area more specifically. I do think we will see more cases. Um, and I think a lot of what we're focused on now is what we might call mitigation techniques. We're trying to keep transmission as low as possible, even if we can't eliminate it. Um, we'd like to, to spread out the cases over time um, and, and uh, not put any additional strain uh, unnecessarily on our healthcare system, particularly because we still have flu circulating. We have people being hospitalized with flu. So uh, uh, major hospitals are pretty full at the moment. Intensive care units are pretty full. And if we can at least string these cases out over a longer period of time, it'll be less of a crunch for the healthcare system, but but whether how much we can actually reduce transmission in the community over the long run, short of doing the kinds of draconian things that China did, uh, that I think uh, is not so clear.